Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a little nifty application which is open source that makes it easy for you to create machine learning apps or AI powered apps. By using a lot of different AI model providers, you can also use local models with the help of transformers. And that is what I am going to show you in this video after getting it installed locally. There are a lot of features which are already available for this app which is called as AI Gradio and as the name suggests it is powered and it is it has been built on top of a Gradio which is really a cool GUI which we have been using on the channel in various videos for a long time now. You can use this AI Gradio to integrate with 15 plus AI providers which include all the usual suspects like OpenAI, Gemini, Anthropic and the list goes on and on. And I'm more than sure this will keep growing. You can do text chat, video chat, voice chat, code generation, a lot of things with the help of this as it, as it is powered by Gradio. So really a good example of how the modular software programming is evolving here where new and novel projects are popping up built on the existing cool projects. So let's get it installed and then see how it works. Also, I will be using this VM and GPU sponsored by Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card courtesy Mast Compute. So, I will be using a local 5.4 transformer model which has just been released by Microsoft. If you want to learn about uh, that 5.4 model, please search my channel. I have covered it from various angles already. So first up, let's start installing this. And as usual, the first step is to create a virtual environment. If you want to use examples provided in their repo, you can also git clone it. So let me git clone it and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So next up, we need to install a couple of packages, which means we need to install Gradio and then AI Gradio. So, and you see that I have specified the keyword all there, which means that it will install support for all the providers. If you already know that you are going to just use it with, let's say Transformers or Crew AI or OpenAI or Anthropic, you just need to specify that provider to keep it lightweight. So let's wait for it to finish installing. Okay, everything is installed. Let me clear the screen so that we could play with this application now. Now, in order to run it, the only thing you need to do is to run a simple code chunk with few lines of code. Let me first show you what I'm doing here. So This is the whole thing, just 11 lines, including these blanks and comments, which you need to run this. So we are importing this Gradio and AI Gradio, and then we are simply creating a Gradio interface. In order to build that chat interface where we are accessing this 5.4 with the help of transformer i already have it on my system because i created another video but you can simply download it from hugging face and if you don't know how to do that just search my channel it's very very simple or just go to my channel and then from there search with maybe 5.4 so let me show you that video quickly so if you just search with 5.4 this second video just watch it and you should be able to download that model it's fairly easy okay so i'm assuming that you already have downloaded that model locally and then once you say transformer colon 54 it is going to access it uh, at the moment the number of models it supports it's a bit limited so there is a tulu 3 and then also olmo model is supported and then there are also some vision models supported so um, this is the whole file and then it is going to just launch a very, very simple Gradio chat interface. So this is the whole code I am running. So if I take you back to my terminal and if I run that app, it should start a Gradio demo on my local system and you can check out how quick that is. So let's wait for it. And it takes a bit of a time first time, of course. So let's wait for it to launch it. Shouldn't take too long. I will just show you in real time what is happening here. 
and there you go so it is running and then let me take you there in my browser and then we will just quickly load it there at our local host at default port of 7860 there you go <clears throat> so you can start chatting with it whatever you want to do a very simple gradient interface there you go now i can uh, imagine that this is just a <clears throat> like any other chatbot and there are thousands of them now but you can see that the way you can simply customize it extend it is quite a uh, long list and if you go to their github repo they have shared some other information which i'm quite excited about for example if i go up you can do all of these chats but especially there is one thing which i really like and uh, I'm quite keen to try it out in my next videos is the browser uh, support where you can do some sort of browser uh, use with it. Now I want to do it with local models. I'm not sure if that is supported by 5.4. So that is what I need to check. So I will be creating another video on just browser use where we can use an AI agent to do that browser support. But if you want to see what mo other models are supported so these are the ones and then there are a few specialized models for vision and for language and agent so you see for agentic one it says crew ai but i want to see if i instead of crew ai i could use some transformer model just for that browser use so there you go so there is also this browser automation so i need to play around with it and then i will report back in another video but so far looks quite handy especially you know the reason why i cover these sort of tools is that it gives us a chance to build our own applications by just following their example uh, just like this project where they have used gradio as a base and then built on top of it so really good stuff i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what you think and if you are after building these chat interfaces on for different models whether local or um, API based search my channel I have done hundreds if not thousands of videos on these sort of tools I'm more than sure you will find something to your liking towards the end let me introduce you to our very good friends at iGentPod who are sponsoring this video iGent lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is really good for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support so do check them out and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed then please do me a personal favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching